feel it. Do you feel the love right now? I feel the love. My Ruda. Okay, I almost sorry. sat. I almost sat right here. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> no, we we got rid of that part of the couch. Um, what what happened to your couch? Did we you got downsize? rid of that part. Of the <laughs> We're downsizing here, so yeah. Now we have it's more of kind of like a love seat. Now. <laughs> the love seat. Yeah. It's a love. Hi, audience. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Is that amazing. This is really nice. It feels like um. It feels like uh, like the before times. It does, right? It's do you no remember the before times? I do remember the, the before. <laughs> is that what you call them? The before times? Yes. Yes. The before times. The before times. Yeah. How is the family? How's everybody? Everybody's great. I brought them out for this trip because um, uh, we haven't been anywhere. You know, we haven't traveled in a year. And, um, and my family, like my kids really love Saturday Night Live now. So... Pearl? It's funny. Well, Pearl is Pearl. You've known the longest because I had her when I was on the show, but um, she doesn't remember. Like, like I said, we were coming to the show, and she said, "Jimmy Fallon knows who I am." I was like, "Jimmy used to hold you." Yeah, Pearl, I sang to you. This is like our first, like, real, yeah, vacation. Wow. I know. Because you were coming back and forth, LA to New York yeah. to do Kamala Harris, which congrats on the Emmy, by the way. Thank That's you. kind of. <laughs> what, yeah. Did you did you get the did you receive the the Emmy? Because I know you didn't get one in per. When I you got finally it. did. It, it took a little while. They were doing some very like COVID friendly engraving. I guess. I guess when you go to the Emmys and you get an Emmy, they do it at the party and you wait at the party. I don't know. But yeah, mine was sent to my house and I was really excited. And the kids were so excited and they opened it up and I the first one I got was for Big Mouth and we opened That's it right, up. That's right. You were in your voice. Your yeah, voice but I didn't know that it. Um, it said the name of the episode that you're on on the Emmy. So I was like, I've got an Emmy. It's got my name on it. And it's like Maya Rudolph in the episode, How to Have an Orgasm. I was like, great. <laughs> Kids, great. Uh, yeah, well, hi. <laughs> wow. There are the conversations right there. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to ask you, because obviously we always, for some Way we end up talking about Prince on the show. I know, I know, which it's, is great. It's a staple, I think, right? I, think we How, just I can't like look across the room at Quest and, and not. It feels, it feels right. Do you yeah. have and a lot of Prince things happened in this building? I might. Have yes, yeah. it, that's correct. Yeah. What, what, did you have Pearl when Prince was musical guest? You know what? I was on maternity leave actually when. Um, I didn't know when I was coming back, but I was, you know, like fully like brand new baby. I think she was about three months old. And then I found out that uh, Steve Martin was going to be the host and Prince was going to be the musical guest. And I was like, I'm up. <laughs> I'm up. Got on a plane. Oh I'm up. We, br we brought Pearl. Like she, she, like she was like still a loaf of bread. She was so small. And we flew out here. Brought my breast pump. Like brought like everything. Like, I mean, you know, when you have a brand new baby, it's. It's very sexy. So, <laughs> oh, wow, that yeah. sounds sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it, yeah, brought brought everybody. It was it was really exciting. I Steve mean, like Martin and Prince. I mean, oh my God! I mean, that's like that's like a like a Maya Rudolph baby Maya dream sandwich. Did you ever get any memorabilia or any? Do you have any Prince stuff or like a? I, I am lucky enough that like now it's known that I love Prince, so like it's not a secret anymore. Like like everybody else, people are like, hey, you like Prince? Like okay, great. And um, uh, someone gave me, a friend of mine gave me uh, his belly chain. I have his belly chain. Wait, from the, uh, uh, oh, from, from his, his belly. Uh, yes, of course, that, that's where he wore it, on, around his belly. Yeah, you know, in the, like, yeah, in the, um, in the mountains video when he's got, you know, when he's got the little pants and the thing. And, like, the vest? You, you can Is that see the that, vest like, look? Yeah, and like the little good meat. It's like the bolero jacket. Yes, bolero jacket. And the hat. And, like, oh, the, no. The, the good meats right here. There's like a little cutout. And then there's like a little gold. Yeah, that. You have that. I have it, what? and I wear it around my neck because it does not fit around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose ways it would fit. I mean, Prince, I Just guess. Just one person. Just one human being. That's wild. I, um, I, go like, I take it like this. Oh, come on. You miss him. Uh, I want to say congrats because here you are on the cover of another magazine. Oh, thank you. I'm on the, I'm on the, um, the fold. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Look at this. This is the Vanity Fair. She really got down there. <laughs> She really got down there. Look at this. This is my Rudolph. This is, oh, sorry. Folded. I'm known for my splits, apparently. Now, I did not know you could do a split. I can't. Okay. Those are there you my, go. Those are not my legs. Those are not your legs. Good. All right, good. No, I think, I, I think my dad was like, wow. Like, um, 
Yeah, Dad, no, I never don't that. know how to do the splits. Nor did I ever know how to do the splits. Even when you're like a kid and you just like drop it. Yep. Like, you know, kids are just like, Poof. like watch this. Poof. Yeah. I was not that kid. You were never that kid. I was like, watch this. Ah! <laughs> like, oy! Oh my oy! Oy! <laughs> oy! <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Uh, I love just hearing your voice. And uh, uh, I bring this up because obviously you won the Emmy for Big Mouth, but now you're in a new movie. Yeah, this animated movie. Perfect for you. Yeah, I, I love it. I gotta say, I like, I like, I like the animated movies also because um, my family genuinely enjoys them. But um, yeah, it's a movie called The Mitchells vs. The Machines. It's a, it's a really cute family movie with like weirdos, like a family of weirdos that end up, um, you know, doing a. A uh, cross-country drive, like a family road trip, to take their daughter to college, but they end up um, uh, saving the world. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? That's April 30th on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, so check that out. Uh, but then this weekend, Saturday Night Live. Yeah. You're back. You're home. I'm home. I'm home. Really, honestly, like, it's so nice to be there. Yeah. First of all, this building feels very good. In, during these strange times, it's so safe. very safe here. And, but we were here, you and I were here for very strange times in this building. <laughs> yeah. We were here during September 11th. We were here during um, the anthrax that was in the building. Remember that? I was in the building. I actually came into work that day. You brought the anthrax. No, no, I did not bring anthrax. That is a rumor. I, but I did go to Starbucks. I came like, everything's normal. Like, da da da, da I got Starbucks. Yeah, normal day. I walk up to the eighth floor and everyone's walking around in hazmat suits. Yeah. And I go, what sketch is this? I'm like, oh, dude, you shouldn't have been here. You didn't, you didn't check your messages or whatever. I was like, what's yeah, my, going on? Yeah, my cousin called me and said, your building's on the news. Are you going into work today? Like, uh, I, I guess so. Yeah. What bizarre times. Bizarre times. But you know what? This place that we know so well is, you know, it's been nice to be here. Coming back and forth doing the show for the... For the election felt really nice because it feels like it feels like home and it feels like we need we're doing something. I know, and you forget that too. You're like, it's just comedy, over, but it, people do really need to laugh. It feels really good. Yes, it it's been feeling good for me to be watching the show, to to know that there's people in the audience now. Like this feels really good. It's all so good. We're, we're gonna get back. We're yeah. gonna get back. Yeah. Uh, guys, Maya Rudolph, everyone. She's hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend with musical guest Jack Harlow. Hey, hey.